Okay, I uh, put the sewing machine away uh, because we're done with it. And we are, we got both our sides done. This is what it looks like. We haven't done any clipping. Okay, so we sewed all the way up here to the top, all the way up here to the top, and on both sides. Same thing, all the way to the top, all the way to the top. Can you see that? Okay, so now we want to clip because when we turn it, but before we clip, we want to um, check our shoulder seams and make sure that they look decent um, before we make any clips. And we want to also make sure that there's no puckers anywhere that we have to go in and refix. So check both of your sides and make sure you like your shoulder seams because this is all going to be uh, really taunt with all of the stuffing that we put in. So see how you like it. Okay, so there's your front and there's your back. Okay, let's turn it back around. And I'm okay with everything I did. So we're going to go ahead and do some clipping. We're going to clip around the breast area. We're going to clip around the neck a little bit too. Um, so just make sure you don't clip anything but the fabric itself. So let's go ahead and do some clipping here and there. Okay, the, now the neck's on the bias, so you really don't have to do too much, but you do want a little bit. Okay, so we clip that, clip that, clip that, all of it's clipped. This neck's clipped, this neck's clipped. Okay, we can turn it inside out now. Okay. Before we start stuffing, we're going to want to put a gathering stitch on the bottom. This is, this is um, optional. I like doing it because it's so much easier to be able to pull a gathering stitch around the bottom once we insert the, um, once we get this inserted. It is so much easier to be able to pull a gathering stitch around um, that and actually this is a good time to test your fit you want this to fit tightly um, if it's too if it's too if you can't get your fabric around this bottom base you're going to want to make some clips in it but this is a good time to test it before you start stuffing so this should be able to fit on here and I think it's going to you want it tight Okay, if it's too tight and you can't get this on, then you're going to want to make a few trims on that um, piece of tile. But this one looks like it fits really fine. And it's just exactly the way I want it. It might be a little tight, so I might trim a little bit off of that. Some of these raw, rough edges maybe to get it nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm going to get a piece of um, thread out with some really heavy duty string on it. Probably, um, um, you know, if you're using tile, you might want to um, finish this off with like glue or something so it won't get on your fabric. I was thinking about that when I did that. When I pulled the paper off, I could see some of the um, adhesive on here. So now I've got some of it on my, um, I'm not too worried about it because it's going to be underneath the actual um, uh, piece. But um, you might want to consider um, putting glue over the top or painting your decoupage or even painting regular paint on here just to prevent that adhesive from coming off onto your fabric. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to trim this down just a wee bit to get some of these rough edges off. Maybe I'll even file them down. And then I'm going to um, put some kind of finish on here so I don't get it on my fabric. Okay, instead of using glue, what I did is I just took some um, coarse sandpaper and sanded down my edges and that removed any of the adhesive that was on the outside of the, um, um, any of the adhesive that was on the outside of the um, tiles. So now I won't get that on my fabric. Okay, so you can do the same thing. This, this is 100, sandpaper 100, it'll just sand it right off. It'll also smooth out any of your edges too, so you'll get a nice uh, finish around the outside. You're not going to see it anyway because you're going to cover it with um, lace or trim or anything like that. But um, 
if that's what you want to do, you can. So let me clean my table up now. Okay, all right. So take up um, some heavy duty thread. I'm using um, I'm using a contrast so you can see what I'm doing. This is denim thread for jeans, so it's really strong. You can use um, your regular quilting thread or your hand quilting thread, any of those. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a running stitch along the bottom of this so that when I go to um, stuff it and put it on the bottom of the, um, uh, the put the base on, I'll be able to pull this tight and then I'll be able to glue it down. You don't have to be neat about it. Just go about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. So all the way around a running stitch. I think she does this in the video too, uh, the lady who did these on her show. Okay. So now that's matched up to the other side. So you can just take that off and I'll put another knot on the other side. And then you can just tie them together when you're if you leave the um if you leave that needle on you might poke yourself when you're stuffing it. So just put a big knot in this side so it doesn't come out. Okay, so now that's ready to be pulled tight once we get the stuffing in and ready to go. Okay, so there we go. We've got that, we've got this, we've got our base cover, and now we're just going to get our dowel ready. Um, I have to go get some batting, so um, I'll go get some batting and then we'll uh, get my hot glue gun hot and then we'll glue some batting to the top, which is where the throat is going to go. So we want to put quite a bit of stuffing in here because we want it to be nice and firm up there. Okay, let me go get the stuffing and the batting and I'll be right back. Okay, we are in the put together phase. Um, I'm going to be dealing with hot glue, so I brought myself a little bucket of water so in case I burn myself, I can dunk it easily into the water and not uh, take off five layers of skin. Okay, um, this is, uh, I forgot to mention, you're going to need, um, this is a hacksaw. This is one of those cheap ones you can get at any of the handyman stores. It was only $1.75. Um, if your husband has one of the real ones, um, you can use that to trim your uh, dowel down. But wait till you're completely assembled before you trim your dowel, because you're not going to be sure until you're done how much you need to trim off. Okay, so that's for that. Okay, so now I've got some leftover quilt batting from another project. From another project, and what you want to do is you want to get it even even cut on the top because we're going to wrap this around the top of the dowel and glue it down. And the reason we're going to do that is because this is what's going to fit up inside that. Um, let me get the camera around so you can see better. That's what's going to fit up inside that um, neck of the um, neck of the uh, uh, mannequin. Um, I did this like before. I said before I've done this, and I uh, ended up having to take it apart and restuff it like three times. So give yourself um, quite a bit of um, leeway on these um, on these uh, neck. Uh, you think you have enough, and you really don't. You're going to have to add more. So I'm doubled up on this one, and I'm just going to bring that around a couple times. Okay, get that so it's nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to need another um, stick. So now I'm going to uh, do it again. And I'm going to wrap it again. Okay, so once you have that, um, still not enough wrap it some more. Trust me on this. Uh, you think you have enough and you don't. So just keep wrapping it. Okay. Let's 
see what that looks like. Okay, we're just about there. Okay, so once you have that, then you're going to take the rest and you're just going to work it down around like that. Looks like you're making a, like you're making a, um, I guess you could call it a candy corn. Not a candy corn, what do you call that? Cotton candy. So just wrap it around. Okay, let's try it again. See if we like it even better. Okay, and the easy thing to do is take your dress or body and fold it up a couple times because then you're only dealing with a little bit at a time and you don't have to fuss with the whole thing. So let's give that a try and see if we like that. Okay, you see that? Okay. Okay, I think I, I think that's plenty. And by the time we put the ball on, it will be nice and stuffed tight. Okay, let's put some glue in here. Okay, use your water so you don't burn your fingers and just press that down to the top. Okay. Okay. If we don't like that, we can take a knitting needle or some pointy object and go up in there and get that batting where we want it. ahead and attach our ball. Yep, do you see how nice that looks now? Nice and even all the way around. The ball is flat. Don't put the ball on though until we're done stuffing it. Just so we don't get it on crooked. Okay, so now just go ahead and take your batting and work it in small pieces. Um, let me move this hot glue out of the way. Keep it plugged in though because we're going to need it for the end. Okay, so let's just keep stuffing. You want to stuff evenly, so if you're stuffing, um, st do two stuffings on one side of the um, stick and then do another couple stuffings on the other side because you want that um, stick to stay even in the middle of the doll body. And stuff it firmly um, because the stuffing will settle and you're going to be taking clothes on and off this mannequin. So you're going to want it stuffed nice and firm and um, so that when it does start settling, you don't, because once you get, get all the glue on here, you're going to have a tough time, a really tough time getting um, any more stuffing in here, getting it apart. Probably eight to ten ounces at the most. So if you don't have anything pointy or if you want to get something up in there and move it around, get out your trusty knit needle and that will um, do the trick. Okay, I'm going to keep stuffing this, moving it around. See, I got a little pucker there. I didn't even see it before. Now I see it now that we're stuffing it. So I'm going to get my knitting needle out because this is too pointy and I'm afraid I'm going to go through the fabric. So I'll be back when I can find my knitting needle. <laughs> 